crazy ways animals give birth. The vast majority of animals need to mate in order to reproduce. But a small subset of animals are able to reproduce without actually having to mate. The process, called parthenogenesis, allows some creatures from honeybees to rattlesnakes to have what are called virgin births. Sexual reproduction involves two elements, an egg and a sperm. Each provides half of the genetic information needed to create a living organism. But in the case of parthenogenesis, the body finds a unique way to create genes usually supplied by sperm. The ovaries produce eggs through a complex process called meiosis, where cells replicate, reorganize, and separate. These eggs contain only half of the mother's chromosomes, with one copy of each chromosome. These cells are called haploid cells. Cells containing two chromosome copies are called diploid cells. But then you have other animals that tend to breed in a rather unique manner. But to each their own, right? So let's have a look at some of the most unique and crazy ways animals breed. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay lucky for all of eternity. Snails Deaf and almost blind, the snail has a very specific way of finding a mate. It follows a slime trail thanks to its upper and lower antenna, which controls its sense of smell and taste respectively. Once the perfect match is found, the two specimens spend several hours touching and feeling each other. The snail, being a hermaphrodite animal, has male and female reproductive organs. Its reproduction process is very particular. At first, the two protagonists stab each other with a love stinger, a sharp organ covered with mucus, which will play an important role. Subsequently, the snails penetrate and fertilize each other. If mating lasts 4 to 12 hours, gestation lasts only 3 to 6 days after which each snail lays between 80 and 86 eggs. All of them will hatch 2 weeks later. Snails can reproduce up to 6 times a year and do not mature until 2 years old. Seahorse The seahorse is a fascinating living being, not only because of its morphology and size, but also for its rather exceptional way of life. In this fish, the male has a very important role in reproduction. Since it is he who carries the young and gives birth to them, zoom in on this natural wonder, this unique phenomenon in the world which continues to impress scientists. The seahorses are quite special as fish since they parade before mating. This display does not take place at the same time in the species. In the Mediterranean, for example, reproduction occurs from April to October. In the Atlantic, it takes place from May to September. It all starts with a sort of aquatic ballet, during which the couple turns on themselves for several minutes. Then they put themselves cheek to cheek and hug each other. After mating and depositing the eggs in the incubator pouch of the male hippocampus, the male hippocampus incubates them for about 28 days. After hatching, the little ones still stay in their daddy's pocket for a few days. They reach 5 millimeters by the time they are kicked out of their comfort zone. To do this, the seahorse seeks a quiet place in the seabed and clings to a support. The little ones are expelled in small groups until the bag disappears completely. Banana Slugs Like all slugs, the banana slug, here in the midst of the dance of seduction, and whose nickname it does not seem necessary to explain, is hermaphrodite. Its genital opening is next to his head, and its penis appears oversized relative to the size of the animal. Even though this slug, which can grow up to 10 inches, is the second largest slug in the world. As a result, it often happens that after coupling that lasts an eternity, the penis of one remains stuck in the genital opening of the other. To get by, banana slugs found on the Pacific coast of North America take an extreme solution. The slug victim of his squatter gnaws his penis and simply tears it off. Ouch! Scientifically, we call this process a population. The squatter then just has to continue living as a female slug, dying for a cause. Okay, so this one is pretty weird and downright gory if you ask us. Male honeybee drones take copulation to the extreme, boasting an internal penis that is turned inside out during the you-know-what, the drone bee injects its thing inside the queen. 
but as it ejaculates, the poor guy falls back, breaking off what matters most to men, and dies in the process. The sacrifice in theory should work. However, there are other drones who are also willing to die for the queen, and when it's their turn, they simply remove the barrier and get on with the job, before passing into the void without a genital to show for their efforts. Try till you die. Australia is known for hosting an amazing wildlife, with many marsupials, koalas, wombats, kangaroos. But have you ever heard of Antichinus? Similar to a mouse, this little marsupial feeds on insects, but is best known for its particular mating process. The Antichinus males reach their adult size after a few months, and usually do not exceed the age of one year, because of their unbridled libido. During the mating season, which lasts about two weeks, the males will reproduce without interruption, sometimes for up to 14 hours in a row without eating or sleeping. A sexuality qualified as suicidal, since the Antichinus males do not survive it. They therefore only reproduce once in their life before dying. Wow, who would have thought that a one night stand could be so deadly? Before we move on to the top item on our list, let's give a shout out to Marianne from Tampa Bay for sending us this really kick-ass image, which we decided to use as our thumbnail. Guys, make sure that you send your entries as well, and who knows, we may end up featuring your suggestion in one of our upcoming videos. It's a girl's job. Okay, so there are cases when roles do reverse. Take for instance the Neotragla, a fly-like insect that lives in caves found in Brazil. Its peculiarity lies in the fact that it is the females who have a kind of penis in order to penetrate the body of the male partner and take the sperm there. The male, meanwhile, has a sort of vaginal pouch and their mating lasts between 40 and 70 hours. Being the only known case of inversion of the genitals between males and females, its discovery is definitely worth something out there. <laughs> 